Alrighty boys, so what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we got some 1v1 dot hole. Actually going to be talking about the new, quote unquote, new battle pass. Uh, not really a new battle pass because it is, a, uh, it is a completely recycled battle pass from the past. But anyways, boys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. Here's our YouTube comment shout out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty boys, so as we do with every other battle pass, we go through each and every single tier. We talk about the tiers, we rate the battle pass. And uh, we check out a few other things and uh, give some tips and tricks on how you guys can quickly uh, complete the battle pass. So uh, basically in today's video, we're going to be going over this first. Uh, so let's see, we got the light box. So we already have that unlocked. I don't have anything else unlocked. I haven't really played anything outside of this customs. So uh, yeah, we're just going to have to see uh, if eventually I can, you know, do a little mini series to grind it out a little bit, play the hunts a little bit. And try to get some of those labs done as well as we get some gems to unlock the battle pass itself so unfortunately boys it is full price even though it is a copy and paste uh battle pass from last year this is actually last december's battle pass that they had out uh, if you guys did not know they switched over to the champions uh basically this past year and when they had frosty out this is the, the exact same battle pass that they had out as well um, that you could earn so unfortunately boys yeah like i said copy and paste uh battle pass and uh so we're gonna go ahead and show off some of these tiers so we got the ultra box and some gems here uh and he also got the lucky spin light box light box mega box five more gems so these is at 40. uh we got box spin light box light box mega box and then these gems leave us at uh, 55. and then we have ultra box light box light box gem spin uh, lucky box mega box 20 gems uh, which leaves us at 75 good god can't keep track for some reason at uh, 75 gems there got some more light boxes mega box uh, and now we're at 85 gems mega box light box light box grenade launcher with the uh it's the icy skin pretty much uh honestly it's definitely the best uh, type of skin that they have in the game i wish they had more skins like this that are more reactive and stuff like that so just copy and pasting old stuff which they just added newer ones that were pretty cool like imagine like a green jade type of uh like skin for the like ryujin or something like that or even like a little shield bubble around like i don't know around the gun or something like that for sentinel just something i don't know cool idea um so mega box 10 gems uh boxes spin mega box light box a uh, bunch of more gems here um, lucky spin mega box gem spin uh mint war mega boxes some more gems uh mega box 30 gems mega box mega box 20 gems uh emote spin mega box some more mega boxes here so a lot of mega boxes i think is what i'm noticing here uh i think i would prefer a little bit more ultra boxes so we do have some ultra boxes here at the very end pick adds to spin and if you guys did not have the frost skin in the past they now have frost in here so you can get him um some more gems here ultra box gems ultra box more ultra boxes here towards the end so like i said more ultra boxes are definitely the way to go um so what i did notice boys is that they now have 40 tiers in their battle pass 40 tiers um so previously it's been about 30 uh tiers and before that it was 20 tiers um, and really not that much. No, it was 25 tiers. Sorry about that. Um, it was 25 tiers back in the day. Now it's 30 or it was 30 and then now it is 40. So they are increasing some of the, uh, battle pass tiers a little bit here. The only thing is, is that they're missing some from the free path here, which if they added like a little bit more free things to the path, um, or to the free path, sorry about that. Then, uh, I honestly think that this battle pass would be a lot more worth than it already is. Now, will you actually get your gens back? be able to purchase another battle pass with these current gems uh let's do the math for us so we got 100 here 150 190 uh 230 270 uh 300 330 350 360 and 390 so 390 and that's just from the paid battle pass of course and uh 395 400 405 at 
Uh, let's see, 475 and uh, 505. Yeah, so it doesn't really make you match up to the 700 gems that you would get. But the other thing is, is that we're not really accounting for any of these gem spins or anything like that as well. So you could get more potentially. But like I said, you're still falling short even if you do buy the battle pass. Um, so that's going to definitely affect the rankings here when it comes to rating this battle pass. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Official rating of this battle pass is a solid four. So yes, I know they're getting worse and worse. Uh, I, I would rate it very high in the fact that they, you know, the reason it even has points in general and not just a flat zero for a copy and paste battle pass is because of the fact that they actually have 40 tiers. 40 tiers is actually really good. I think this is definitely a direction that they should be heading in. 40 into maybe even 50 tiers just to make it even more even. That um, would be absolutely insane. Even if they did cut the free pass a little shorter like they did with this and made it like uh, 40 instead of 50. When they increase it to 50, that would make it a lot better, a lot more worth. Because um, currently, as it stands, uh, I don't really think people really want to spend money on this game. And if you guys look here, you have to spend $10 to get the Battle Pass, which it... <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys right now, it is definitely not no Fortnite level type of battle pass that you should be paying for or anything like that. So um, at the moment, I would say it's not worth buying at all, especially if you already have the frost skin. Not really all that worth, man. I mean, you get a couple of other things. Um, I already have a bunch of pickaxes already unlocked as well from back in the day. So definitely uh, not something I would really shoot for there. Um, honestly, guys, if it were me, I would just bring back the old skins, man. Um, it would be cool if the old skins just had like their own separate type of, uh, of ability or something like that Like uh, you get like a basic ability like extra armor or like shield up or something like that For all the basic type skins or the old school skins Just to uh, have their own class or something like that instead of just champions or maybe even champions just having their own abilities Then you guys can choose to use those abilities or not And so people can actually have their old skins back instead of all of this dog crap that we've been given nowadays Especially with these coins. These coins are practically useless. I have 223,000 saved. Of course, you're never going to run through them when you're upgrading because you don't really get that much in general for upgrades. Um, not that often, at least. So you never really use them like that. And you always get them back anyways from the boxes that you end up spending those upgrades on. So at the end of the day, it's not really worth it. Um, yeah, 4 out of 10, boys. That's definitely the best I can give out here. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys if you guys do get the battle pass. Some ways uh, you guys can complete it pretty quickly so of course uh, unlocking boxes helps with your xp a little bit um, when it comes to some of these challenges so obviously completing these challenges will give you some points that will go towards the battle pass like we just unlocked some tiers here um, let's open these real quick but yeah you can unlock those tiers with these battle pass points um, if you guys are new to the game or anything like that if you guys did not know you use those challenges they refresh daily and as well as uh, some of the season ones there uh, comes more and more throughout the season um, as the season continues on so yeah if you guys definitely want to get these done some of these are really easy like opening boxes finishing top three in showdown uh, and use play again three times so those are uh, pretty good and like I said they refresh every 24 hours so if you guys want to get those done definitely get those done before the timer runs out and then they have a bunch of seasonal ones you guys can complete as well and you guys can always complete those on your own time anything like that uh, especially since it's seasonal and the seasons usually last a couple months because they don't usually uh, refresh them all that um, often so and as of right now it's set to 43 days so we're locked in for quite a long time for this season already so it's looking like it's going to be leading into february now are we going to finally get a new skin in february i kind of doubt it i think they're just going to start rotating the uh whatchamacallit um all of these skins and stuff like that they're going to be rotating these skins in and out and stuff i don't really think that they're actually going to focus on having uh you know a more inclusive battle pass where they have some more uh or newer things coming to the game some new items and stuff like that i really really hope for december that they lock in and they actually bring like snow to the battle pass and stuff like that I really hope so but like i said guys um you can also complete these fire hunt challenges or these hunt challenges sorry not just fire hunt if you do all these challenges and stuff you also get more gems from it so if you do buy the battle pass you get a lot closer of a chance to getting uh, some of the battle pass and stuff like that and as well as the white boxes to help you with your opening chest uh, challenges and stuff like that and then also on top of that if you don't have pyro you guys can get pyro out of it so it's definitely worth it now here is the big winner when it comes to um, unlocking the battle pass especially for free if you guys don't want to pay for it 
you guys can go into the lab. So basically the lab, you get a bunch of gems and stuff like that. And here's the complete, um, like if you complete the entire lab, you get this on top of all these rewards you get. So each tier that you complete, uh, you get these little items from the chest uh, in game. And these chests basically give you an item that you can uh, spawn in here. And then once they come in here, you unlock all 10 of these or all however many of them are in here. Um, then you unlock the uh, the reward above, which is uh, the micro SMG skin is really good. So honestly, I think it's a really good first tier uh, if you ask me. But like I said, it's randomized, so it's not in any order or anything like that. You just have to keep playing and unlock them through all the boxes you unlock throughout the game. And, ho and just hope, sorry, just hope that you get the, uh, you know, all the tiers and stuff like that. Um, all done through them and like I said some of these have uh, you know the tiers just increase increase throughout most of them and then they get higher and higher and then obviously I mean shoot you complete this one you already get it done you get the battle pass and everything but all these combined like you get a bunch of gems combined on top of 10,000 like if you get a ridiculous amount you could use those to I guess gamble because there's in-game gambling with all this stuff uh, with the spins and stuff like that or you could just save for future battle passes and have battle passes for a long time I don't know, whatever you guys choose to do. But anyways, boys, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Um, like I said, uh, you guys can play Showdown. You guys can play one one Clash to unlock some boxes and stuff. Um, but for the most part, those are most definitely some of the easiest ways to get the Battle Pass for free and as quickly as possible. So if you guys want to do that, you guys want to grind for it, you guys can do so. But anyways, boys, uh, so I know today was a little bit more of just an informational video. I'm kind of running out the door at the moment, so I wanted to get this out to you guys real quick before I left. We're definitely going to be having some scrim gameplay and uh, some interesting stuff coming out tomorrow. If you guys want to go ahead and join up in the Discord, our Discord is linked down below in the description. And uh, yeah, some, something interesting is coming tomorrow. Uh, I'm not really going to say what it is. Obviously, if you made it to the end of the video, um, you guys will definitely know that there is something coming tomorrow. Some type of announcement you guys can definitely expect. But anyways, boys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and sub. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, boys.